Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equations. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, describe the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of the quadratic equation. Letter B, determine the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation. And letter C, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. The sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 can be determined using the coefficients a, b, and c. Remember that the roots of a quadratic equation can be determined using the quadratic formula. So using the quadratic formula, we will let x sub 1 and x sub 2 be the roots of the quadratic equation. So x sub 1 will be equal to negative b positive square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, while x sub 2 or the second root will be negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then we will just compute the sum and the product of the roots. So let's start first with the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation. So to do that, we will just add these two roots. So we will derive the formula to compute for the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation by adding the two roots of the quadratic formula. So we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2, the sum of the two roots. We will substitute x sub 1, which is equal to negative b, plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, plus negative b, this time minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a for our second root. We will compute this. So pagsamahin lang natin, since parehas naman siya ng denominator, so this is an example of similar fraction. So add lang natin yung numerator. So copy lang muna natin to. Lagyan lang natin ng open parenthesis. And then the next step is papalta natin ng sign to. So positive times negative will be equal to negative. Positive times negative will be equal to negative. Then sa kanan natin isisimplify, combine natin yung similar terms. So we have positive square root of b squared minus 4ac, then negative square root of b squared minus 4ac. This will be cancelled out. So, 0 na siya. Wala nang matitira. So, negative b plus negative b will be equal to negative 2b. All over, copy mo lang yung 2a. Then, get the lowest term of negative 2b all over 2a. So, ang lowest term niya is negative b all over a. So, to get the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation, all we need to do is to divide negative b by a. Now, let's derive the formula for the product of the roots of the quadratic equation. We will just multiply the two roots of the quadratic formula. So, we have negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a times negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then, after that, we will simplify using the distributive property. Negative b times negative b is equal to b squared. Negative b times negative square root of b squared minus 4ac is equal to positive b square root of b squared minus 4ac. Then, ito naman, positive square root of b squared minus 4ac times negative b is negative b square root of b squared minus 4ac. Then, square root of b squared minus 4ac times negative square root of b squared minus 4ac is equal to negative b squared plus 4ac. All over 2a times 2a is equal to 4a squared. Then, we will cancel this out. 
b squared minus b squared 0, b square root of b squared minus 4ac minus b square root of b squared minus 4ac is also equal to 0. Kaya cancel na siya. So, ang natira na lang dito ay yung 4ac all over 4a squared. So, we will simplify this. 4a will be cancelled out. 4a divided by 4a is just equal to 1. So, the product of the two roots of the quadratic equation is equal to c over a. Let's have our first example. Find the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 7x minus 18 is equal to 0. First, we will identify the numerical coefficient of each term. The numerical coefficient of our quadratic term x squared is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of our linear term 7x is equal to 7. And the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to negative 18. Next, we will be using the formula for the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation. So our formula is negative b all over a. So we will just substitute the corresponding value. So the value of b will be equal to 7. So this will be equal to negative 7. Then the value of a is equal to 1. Dividing these two numbers, negative 7 divided by 1 is equal to negative 7. Therefore, the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal to negative 7. Then, let's compute for the product of the roots of the quadratic equation. So, our formula will be C all over A. Substituting the corresponding value, the value of C is equal to negative 18 and the value of A is equal to positive 1. Dividing these two numbers, negative 18 divided by 1 is equal to negative 18. Therefore, the product of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal to negative 18. Let's look at the given quadratic equation and let's see the relationship form between the numerical coefficients and the sum of the products of the roots of the quadratic equation. So the computed sum of the roots of this equation is negative 7 and the product of the roots is equal to negative 18. As you can see here, the numerical coefficient of our linear term is positive 7 while the sum of the roots is equal to negative 7. So meaning to say, nag-change lang siya ng sign, nabago yung sign. Kung positive to, this will be negative. Then, for the constant term, may kita natin sa ating equation, this is negative 18, tapos yung naging product of roots ng quadratic ay negative 18 pa rin. So walang nabago. As is, kung ano yung value ng ating constant term, that will be also the value of the product of the roots. And with that, we can actually try to create a formula to get the standard equation of a quadratic equation using only the two roots of the quadratic equation. So the formula will be x squared minus, since this one is positive and it becomes negative, so this will be minus. Then, Open and close parentheses, so the sum of the two roots, so x sub 1 plus x sub 2 times the variable x plus, since the sign did not change on our constant term, then the product of the two roots, so x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals 0. So this will be our formula if we will be solving or we will be getting the equation given only the two roots of that equation. Let's have an example. Write a quadratic equation that has each pairs of solutions. So these are the two roots of the quadratic equation, 2 and negative 9. So we will be using the formula x squared minus the quantity x sub 1 plus x sub 2 times x plus x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to 0. We will substitute the two roots. So x sub 2 minus the quantity, the value of x sub 1 is positive 2 plus the value of x sub 2 is negative 9. So this will be equal to negative 9 times x plus the value of x sub 1 is 2 
times the value of x sub 2 is equal to negative 9 equals 0. We will simplify. Just bring down x squared minus 2 minus 9 is equal to negative 7 times x plus 2 times negative 9 is equal to negative 18 equals 0. Then bring down x squared negative times negative. So this will be equal to positive 7x. Then positive times negative is equal to negative 18. So the standard equation is x squared plus 7x minus 18 is equal to 0. So mapapansin nyo, eto lang yung kanina nating given na equation. So x squared plus 7x minus 18. Let's solve our next example. So find the sum and the product of the roots of x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Let's get the numerical coefficient of each term. The numerical coefficient of the quadratic term x squared is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of our linear term 4x is equal to 4. And the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to 3. And then after that, let's solve for the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation. Let's start first with the sum of the roots using the formula negative b all over e. So all we need to do is to divide negative b. So this will be negative 4. The value of b is equal to 4 all over the value of e, which is equal to 1. Negative 4 divided by 1 is equal to negative 4. Therefore, the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal to negative 4. While the product of the roots of the quadratic equation, our formula is C all over A. So the value of C is equal to 3 and the value of A is equal to 1. So 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, the product of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal to 3. Then let's look at this quadratic equation. If a is equal to 1, the numerical coefficient of x squared is just equal to 1. So, ang mangyayari dito, sum of the roots, we have positive 4 as the numerical coefficient of our linear term. So, yung positive 4 dito magiging negative 4 pagdating sa roots. So, yung nakuha nating sum of the roots kanina is negative 4. While, yung constant term natin, yung value ng constant term natin, Sa product of the roots, if this is positive, positive rin yung magiging value ng roots. So, walang nabago as is if A is equal to 1. Next, let's write a quadratic equation that has each pair of solutions. So, given yung roots natin, we have negative 1 and negative 3, we will create a quadratic equation. So, let's use the formula x squared minus the sum of the two roots times x plus the product of the two roots is equal to 0. We will substitute the corresponding value. So just bring down x squared minus the quantity. The value of the first root is negative 1 and the value of the second root is equal to negative 3 times x plus the value of the first root again is negative 1. Then the value of the second root is equal to negative 3 equals 0. So we will simplify. Bring down x squared then minus then the quantity of negative 1 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 4 times x plus negative 1 times negative 3 is equal to positive 3 equals 0. Then just bring down x squared, negative times negative 4x will be equal to positive 4x. Then bring down plus 3 equals 0. So the standard equation with the roots of negative 1 and negative 3 is x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Let's solve our last example. Find the sum and the product of the roots of 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equal to 0. So, identify natin yung numerical coefficient ng each term. The numerical coefficient of our quadratic term 2x squared is equal to 2. The numerical coefficient of our linear term 8x is equal to 8. And the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to negative 10. Then let's get first the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation using the formula negative b all over a. Substitute natin yung corresponding value. So we have the value of b is equal to 8. So this will be negative 8. Then the value of a is equal to positive 2. Then dividing these two numbers, negative 8 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4. 
Therefore, the sum of the two roots of the quadratic equation is equal to negative 4. While the product of the roots of the quadratic equation, we will be using the formula C all over A, substituting the corresponding value. The value of C is equal to negative 10 and the value of A is equal to positive 2. Negative 10 divided by 2 is equal to negative 5. Therefore, the product of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal to negative 5. Now, let's observe the quadratic equation. So, ang sum ng roots natin na nakuha ay negative 4. So, this is positive, naging negative lang. Pero since ang value ng a natin ay not equal sa 1, mapapansin natin ang value ng a natin ay equal sa 2. So, ang nangyari dito, yung 8 na hati sa dalawa. Kung ano yung value ng numerical coefficient, i-divide natin. So, 8 divided by 2, kaya naging 4 dito. Then, positive, kaya naging negative. So, doon natin nakuha yung sum of the roots, no? Kapag yung a ay hindi equal sa 1. Ganun din sa product of the roots. So, kung ito ay negative 10, i-divide natin by 2. So, negative 10 divided by 2 is equal to negative 5. Hindi rin nabago yung sign. 